2016 GOP presidential candidates, Senator Marco Rubio, goes on the record. Nice to see you. Nice to talk to you again, Greta. Senator, the big news today, of course, is Gitmo. And out of your Twitter account, it says, Obama's plan to close Gitmo is a continuation of prioritizing his own legacy over the safety of American people. Are you saying that he cares more sort of selfishly about his legacy than he does the safety of the American people? Because there's no national security rationale for doing what he's doing. He's arguing, he's saying things that Al-Qaeda and ISIS are attacking us because of Gitmo. That's absurd. It has nothing to do with Gitmo. They attack us because they're radical Islamic jihadists. That's why they attack us and our interests and other innocent people around the world. Second, there's no national security rationale for what he's doing because many of the people that are being released from Gitmo are returning to the fight against us. Today we wake up to the news that Spanish police have arrested uh, a, a former Gitmo detainee that had returned the, to the battlefield against the United States. This is all about fulfilling a campaign promise to cl close Guantanamo and it leaves America more vulnerable. And it isn't going to happen. We're going to fight it every step of the way. Would you make yes, that I'm same sorry. argument to would you make that same argument sir to President Bush because when he was president he released 500 and apparently according to the numbers is that President Obama has only released 147 and I realize as we get down the chain you get to the more dangerous ones but um, would you make that same statement to President Bush well, that's an important distinction. There were a lot of people in Guantanamo, and some who had wound up there had simply been people that were rounded up in operations and didn't pose a threat. But now, as you said, the, the less and less people you have there, as you get down that line, the more and more dangerous they become. I would say this, however, about anybody who is in favor of releasing enemy combatants who are trained killers from Guantanamo, many of whom have been pretty open in expressing their desire to return to the battlefield against America. And that's, in fact, what many of them have done. They leave, and they return to the fight against us. So All I would right, say that about anybody, Republican or Democrat, that puts our national security at risk. All right, when we talk about release, from what my understanding of the plan is that some of them will be transferred. They use the word transfer, but I agree. I call it release, too. That a number of them who are the more serious one will be brought to the United States and placed in regional federal prisons here. Um, do, you have any, do you object to that? They will be in custody. Yeah, but there's no need for them to be here. Guantanamo is a first-rate facility for holding enemy combatants. I've visited there personally. There's no rationale or reason for moving them from there, none whatsoever, or bringing them to the homeland of the United States, which could create problems for us here. So I, I think it goes back to the point, wh why? We have the Guantanamo facility. It is a facility that was built and is capable for, for detaining people such as these who are enemy combatants in a war on terror, and that's, a, that's where they should continue to be held. In fact, I think we should be moving more people there. If we capture terrorists in the battlefield in the fight against ISIS or wherever it may be, we should be taking them to Guantanamo as well. There's a press release out of your campaign office in Nevada suggesting that, uh, that your campaign is worried about dirty tricks tonight in Nevada. Are you worried about them? Well, we're concerned in the sense that we've seen them in the past in an effort to mislead voters. We saw that in Iowa. We saw some of that this weekend in South Carolina. We want to be prepared. So the release basically tells our supporters if they run across any sort of misinformation that they report it immediately so we could get the word out. Uh, the Nevada caucus is a newer process. They've only had two. Uh, so it's a new process for a lot of people that are participating in it. And I just want to make sure no one goes to vote tonight and is told that somehow I've dropped out of the race or some of these other silly things that have happened here over the last few weeks. I take that it was a remark directed towards Senator Cruz, since that's what happened with Senator Cruz vis-a-vis -vis, uh, Dr. Ben Carson in Iowa. Well, it happened vis-a-vis -vis us, too. Last week in South Carolina, a gentleman fainted and had a seizure at one of my events. And I stopped the event and said a prayer for him, and we just ended it because we wanted emergency personnel to reach him. And they put out a robocall telling people that I had announced that I was dropping out of the race if I didn't win in South Carolina. So we just want to be prepared for anything that happens. Obviously, the Cruz campaign has been a big part of some of those things over the last few election cycles. And we just want to make sure voters are, are aware of the truth and no one's misled and, uh, towards changing their vote because they think something's happened that, in fact, has not happened. Senator, thank you very much. And as I say to all the candidates, good luck, sir, and I hope you come back. Yes. Thank you, Greta.